Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me. I'm Julie Hassan from Julie's Kitchenette and also Everyday Dish. So much fun to be back filming videos again. And today I wanna to show you how to make a really great vegan cheese sauce. This one's a little different because it doesn't have your typical sort of nacho cheese flavors in it. This one is smoked Gouda. Yes, seriously, so good. You could uh, toss it with cooked macaroni for like a, a twist on mac and cheese, uh, tofu scrambles, um, really anywhere, tacos, anywhere you want like kind of like a smoky, rich kind of flavor to it, this is your sauce. So let me show you how to make it. Super simple, because today we're making it entirely in the blender. Uh, I love doing blender sauces because you don't have to cook them, so if you're in a hurry, this is the way to go. And it's literally like one pot or one jar when you make it. So the secret is using something called instant clear gel. And there is a regular clear gel and an instant, but you want the instant. And it's non-GMO, it's just basically an instant cornstarch. And so it does all the thickening in the jar. There's also a product by a company called Cornabees, and I believe it used to be called Ultra Gel, and I think they just changed the name on it. But this will also work the same way, so it thickens it instantly in your blender. There might be a small difference in amount you need, but don't worry about it. The great thing about this is that you just add, a, you know, if you need it a little thicker, you add a tiny bit more through the top. If you need it a little thinner, you add a bit more liquid. So it's really, really, really foolproof. And um, also, the reason we're gonna be adding it through the top of the blender is because if you just kind of dump it all in at once, it just sort of quickly forms into this mass, which you don't want. You want it nicely um, blended throughout the sauce. So let me show you what I'm doing. So in the blender jar, I've got a cup of unsweetened, unflavored soy milk. Put that in there. And don't worry about the amounts because the recipe is on my website, Julie's Kitchenette. I have water, which is also one cup, but so it's equal parts. Nutritional yeast flakes. I've got cashews. So on the cashews, you if you don't have a high power blender, you'll want to soak them first, like you know maybe an hour or two, or to simmer them in boiling water for about 15 minutes. Um, but High speed blender, no problem, just add them in raw. And those are unsalted. Then I have sea salt. I'm using the pink Himalayan, but you can use any kind of sea salt. Uh, this one is really great. So this is vegan lactic acid. So I'm adding that in and I just get it online. I'll have the link for it in case you wanna look for it. Uh, you just wanna make sure when you get it that you get a vegan one, not a regular but lactic acid gives you that sort of cheesy tang, like think Doritos, that, that tangy cheesiness, that's what the vegan lactic acid will do. So I really like adding a little bit into my vegan cheeses and cheese sauces. So we have that. Then we have a little bit of Bragg liquid aminos, that just gives it a little bit more flavor, umami, and a little bit of a dark color. And so that's what this is. Uh, and then liquid smoke. So it couldn't be simpler. You just dump everything in your blender. We're gonna blend it until it's smooth and then through the top, we will add the thickener. So let's go ahead and blend it. Once it's smooth and you don't see any little traces of nuts anymore, then that's when you're gonna wanna add your thickener. And we're gonna add it through the top with the blender on low. So let's go ahead and do that. So I can get my lid off. Okay, then I'm gonna put the, turn the speed up just a little bit so it blends well. with this instant thickener is it takes about 10 minutes, I believe, to fully hydrate. So I just let it kind of sit in my blender jar for about five or 10 minutes, and then as soon as I go to use it, I'll take a look, and then usually it could use like another blend, so I'll just blend it on high for another few seconds until it's smoothed out, and that is your cheese sauce. I mean, could not be simpler. 
Here I have a jar, I, I, and you can see this is just a lovely, silky, silky texture um, and consistency. But if you like your, if you want yours a little thicker, add a little tiny bit more of the uh, instant clear gel. If you want it um, thinner, like I said, just add a little bit more liquid. I store it in my fridge for like up to a week. And it's great because then I have a jar waiting to go whenever I need just the, you know, a hint of creaminess or to toss it with pasta or whatever it is, you've got it in your fridge. So thank you so much for joining me. This has been so much fun. I'm gonna be back every week. Yeah, I'm gonna try and do the videos every week. And so I'll be on this Everyday Dish channel and um, the website is juliehassan.com. Thanks so much, I'll see you soon.